got a little inspired today. I know I said in past videos I wasn't going to decorate out front because it's dangerous for me to answer the door and be exposed to a bunch of people because of my immune system and being on oxygen. And I don't want to have to continually get up to go to the door. But Halloween is in my blood. I cannot not put anything out front for Halloween. So what I'm going to do is I bought these stake signs at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use the stakes. As you can see, I already removed the signs from three. And my cat is playing with the stakes. And I'm going to save what was on the stakes, these footballs and these little signs. Now these footballs, usually at Thanksgiving time, I add a little football decor in with my Thanksgiving decor. And then I might make baskets um, for friends and family and maybe put like the sign in the basket. And as you can see on the family, it has like the football helmets too, super cute. So I may make little baskets for Thanksgiving for family members and put the cute little signs in them so I can recycle. But I mean, for $1.25 for multiple uses, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with the stakes, but first I wanna take the rest of the signs off and then I'm gonna spray paint them black. So I got these ghosts as well at Dollar Tree. They're really cute and they have the posable arms. They have this styrofoam head, which what I'm going to do is now that my stakes are spray painted black, I'm gonna flip it over. And I'm going to use my glue gun and put some glue on the back. And put the steak on the back of this and let it dry. You're gonna wanna push hard because it takes a while and then afterwards, I'm going to go along the side and put some more glue to make sure. And we'll give it a second to dry and then I'll show you what it looks okay, like. And here you have it, ghost on a stake. So what I'm going to do is put these on my flower pots out front I normally decorate really big for Halloween. If you go look at my Halloween past video, it shows some past Halloweens, how I've decorated my outside of my house and it seems to get bigger every year. But as I've said before, since I've been sick, I just don't have the energy to decorate as much this year outside, but I didn't wanna not put anything so I remembered when I lived in my apartment, I kind of did the same thing. We didn't have trick-or-treaters or anything, but I love Halloween. So I decorated my patio area and all my flower pots. I put tombstones and made my flower pots creepy. And I hung a ghost on my deck and people that passed by could see it. So I'm gonna show you what all my flower pots look like when I am done. Okay, so I didn't end up putting the gross in my flower pots. I ended up zip tying them to my actual pathway lights so they could light up pretty good for Dollar, dollar Tree Ghost, if I do say myself. And here's how I did one of my flower pots. You can't really see because it's getting dark. But that's a tombstone. I'll try and take some pictures. So here are the pictures and what my flower pots look like with the tombstones. I also spray painted some black um, or some stakes black. And I put those in the flower pots along with some 
flowers to make it creepy and I have some hands coming out of a few of the flower pots. This particular pot I had green spiders. Anything to make it look a little creepy. I'm not going to light up the flower pots or anything. It's just something you can see in the daytime. Um, but the ghosts are lit up and they do line my pathway. My pathway lights are actually lighting them up and I zip tied the ghosts to the pathway lights. All pretty basic, not very expensive, just something quick and easy. Um, it turned out really cute. So I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button and my Halloween home tour should be up in the next few days.